Guido, do you ever look at the human body and think, wow, what an ugly piece of work? Well, Steve, the only experience I have with humans is through you. And, yep, you're pretty hideous. Ah, thanks, buddy. Much appreciated. So I thought, why don't we head to a dimension where we can create our own body? Which is where the Draw a Stickman epic dimension comes in. Whatever we create right now will then go forth into the world and be our very own vessel for this following adventure. So Guido, I'm going to give you the honors of going ahead and creating our very first... Oh, okay, um, so is that some kind of head? It looks very kind of squashed. Uh, oh. Oh, I see where this is going. Mm-hmm, yeah, I can see exactly what you're doing here, dude. Yep, there you go, there you go, and... Oh, is that your mustache? Oh, excellent job. This body is, well, not a body at all. Where are the arms and legs? Look, let me go ahead and let me just do something like like this. There we go. There, yeah, perfect. P okay, your body is slightly misaligned. Let me just go ahead and... Oh, okay, there we go. There's one arm and there's another arm. Perfect. Touch the sick man pencil and draw me a friend. Oh gosh, have I got to make myself now? I think I may have to. Let me just go ahead and do my big hair, just something like this. And then I'll do something like that. Oh gosh, this is going to be absolutely terrible. There we go. There's my there's my head. There's my little bit of hair. Oh no, and I've not left myself enough space for a body. Here we go. Let's just... <laughs> Let me do something like this, and there's one arm, and there's the other arm. I look like a caveman or something. Steve, why are you the main character in this story anyway, Guido? Because I'm the best, of course. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? I don't know. It seems like I found a some kind of book or something. Okay, let's go ahead and go down here. Uh, oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, the book just ate me. Are you kidding me? I have to find Steve. I can't believe you're the hero this time. Oh, you've jumped right into the book. The search for Steve. How to use the fire pencil. Touch the fire pencil, then draw fire to burn obstacles. Sounds simple enough. All right, Guido, we've got to get this right because my life is at stake. Those bunnies are horrifying. Can we go approach them? Can we like brutally murder them just so they aren't living in this world anymore? I guess not. Okay, so we can see the gate here. Let's go ahead and, whoa, not too close there, Guido man. All right, let's go ahead and use the fire pencil. Do I just draw it right here? I guess so. Oh yeah, big roaring fire right there. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and burn this down. Oh, it's working. This is amazing. Now, can I go ahead and set uh, Mr. Guido Man on fire? No, Steve, what are you doing? Nothing, nothing, I'm not jealous. Okay, let's do that. Oh gosh, it, <laughs> it actually worked. Oh, that burns. Yeah, got that right. All right, let's wait for that to burn down. Now we'll go ahead and move through here. Oh, we can go two ways. We can either go upwards or down to the bottom. Let's go up. Let's see what's going on up here. In fact, wait, can I burn a bunny? Let me just try burn a bunny. If I do something like that. Oh, the fire is so small. Oh, it worked. Oh, I set myself on fire. Oh, Oh my gosh, that was bad. I mean, I set you on fire, Guido. Okay, so there's some very conveniently placed dynamite just lying around. Let me go ahead and... Wait, if I blow this up, is this going to cause the rocks to come tumbling down? Ah, it's worth the risk, I think. There's some fire and... Oh, perfect. And let's see what's waiting for us down here. Some more dynamite. Okay, let's do this. Oh, oh, I walked into the fire again. Guido walked into the fire. There we go. And, uh, oh, we blew up another bit. Excellent. Oh, a secret doorway. Let's try burn this down. Let's just do a big roaring flame right here. And let's see if this actually works. Is it going to... Yes. Oh, we did it. And now we're moving on to the next part of the story, apparently. Armakillo Pass. Here we are. Let's see exactly what awaits us around here. We've got another bit of dynamite right there. So let's go ahead and set that thing on fire. There we go. Okay, we managed to go through here now. Oh, I walked right into a burning tree. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I guess we can set things on fire from a distance. What is that thing? Is that something I can set on fire? Let me try it. It's a big fire right there. Is that doing anything? Um, okay. I did nothing. All right, what's awaiting us down here? Absolutely nothing. There's a bridge. Part of me wants to set that bridge on fire. I don't know what's with me, Guido. I just want to set everything on fire. We also have this tiny little rope here. Looks like we can't do anything with it, but it looks like it's supposed to connect to uh, this little pole over here. 
Can't get past these rocks. Let's go across the bridge then. Fingers crossed this bridge doesn't break while I'm walking across it. No, it did not. And I tell you what, dude, I'm going to set it on fire as well. There we go. My flames are getting less and less detailed by the second. Anything waiting for us up here? Another one of these things. Uh, oh, there I am. What am I doing? Steve. Caveman Steve. Oh, who the heck is that? Hi. Um... You're not the only one with a magic pencil, dude. He's just made like a lizard. Oh, I've been taken into a cave. Okay, can I just set this guy on fire? There we go. Okay, just burn a little. There you go. Take that. Um, is that actually... Did that work? It didn't work. Okay, this guy is now chasing me. I think what I should have done is run across the bridge, then set the bridge on fire. Oh, that would have been genius. All right, buddy, can you fit down here? Can you fit your giant, horrific, slimy body down here? It doesn't look like it. Oh, oh, maybe. I don't think he's going to fit through this gap. Let's just go all the way around just like this. We may have to take him the long way around. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Now, Guido, I could completely be on the wrong track here. In fact, why am I waiting to do this? Can I just sprint past him? Hold on. Let me do something like this. There we go. And can I just charge into the cave? Is that something I can... Oh, yeah. That was a lot more simple. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Stickenstein's monster. Guido, our adventure continues as we head into the cave to rescue, well, rescue me. Hey adventurers, it's Guido here. Wow, I'm the hero of this story. I never would have thought, after all of these years of being Steve's companion, I am now the master of my own destiny. Unfortunately, Steve doesn't seem to be treating my character right. So in order to solve that, I need all of you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That way, maybe it will persuade Steve to make my character a little bit more heroic. Maybe I'll get a sword, a cape, a cool mask, maybe my own theme tune. Hey, I've been working on one. What do you think about this? No? Too loud? Okay. All right, we managed to defeat, well, not exactly defeat that lizard there, but we managed to sneak past him, and now we head into Stickenstein's cave. Let's go ahead and try this then. Let's go down this way. There is a bumblebee there. Is he going to be an issue? I'm just going to kind of sneak by him. I haven't seen any real reason to use my cloud abilities just yet. Let's head up this way. Uh, oh, those killer bees actually look like they could be a real issue. Okay, well, let's try this out. Now, do I just go ahead and do something like this? Does that work? I think, uh, oh, oh, we zapped the bees. We just zapped the bees and they're very mad. Oh, they're kind of jumping around. Okay, uh, but the bees are still alive. Come on, the powers of Thor better help me out here. There we go, another dark cloud. Oh, jeez, I just zapped myself with lightning. Whoa, what is this? It looks like some kind of secret entrance way. Maybe I can lightning this place open? Let me try. No, that did nothing. Okay, maybe I can just fill it with water? Here we go. We'll draw another cloud just like this. There we go. Just a light cloud this time. Oh, it worked. Can I... Oh, where the heck did that go? I have no idea where that went. It went somewhere. And now we've just got this hole right here. Maybe I can fill it with water again? I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, but let's do something like that. Is this going to fill it up? I just missed, I think. Okay, you know what? Never mind. We need to get past these bees somehow. We also have a... Oh, can I go through here? Um, oh, apparently I can. Oh, there he is. Stickenstein's monster. And it looks like there's some kind of generator here. Perhaps what I need to do is hit this with lightning. I mean, it looks like there's a wire going all the way to the top. Hit that with lightning, and then we will unleash the beast. All right, somehow we've got to get past these bees, and they're very mad. Oh my goodness me. What's wrong with them? Okay, let's try to get a little bit close. Let's try the lightning again. Here we go. Okay, let's do this. Is this going to... Yes? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, it works. Okay, now I'm going to run by. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, now we know what we're doing. Oh, we can do like a big cloud. Is this going to cover two? Let's try that. Oh, it covered three. Amazing. Every bee must have a flower. So let's do one right there. Can I do... Oh, I can do multiple at once, I think. There we go. Yes. Okay, now those guys are attracted to those ones. Put a couple more over in this general vicinity. Man, these clouds are getting slowly and slowly less detailed. Um, is that all of them? Yes. Okay, excellent. I don't really know how I didn't think of that earlier. Okay, now we go this way. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and there it is. There's the antenna for the monster, for Stickenstein's monster. Let's go ahead and make a dark cloud just like this. And zap. Did that work? Oh, the lightning is going down. And we should see that guy all fueled up. Is there anything in this direction? 
doesn't look like it. Can I? No, I can't get over those rocks. Okay, let's go ahead and see this beast that we've created. Stickenstein's monster. You all good in there, bro? Um, okay. And Zap? Did it work? He's got his little yellow boots. That's so cute. Okay, he's up. Friend? Are you, are you a friend or are you going to eat me? Or, uh, I, oh, let's just follow him. Let's see exactly what he does. It looks like he's, oh, he's breaking this part down. Oh, what a guy. Uh, uh, don't attack me. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, so I think we should be able to, yes. Amazing, the cavern of robotic mystery. Oh, Guido, that sounds right up your alley. Well, Guido, that was an epic start to the journey, but I've got to say something. I just can't be bothered to save myself. Dude, I am nowhere near important enough to devote an entire day to saving. So I tell you what, buddy, let's let the adventurers out there decide if we return back to this dimension. So if you would like to see Guido's heroic adventure continue, please let us know with a comment. But for now, we are going to do something other than saving myself. I know, that's really weird to say.